It's perfect. It's sure something. I can smell the dry rot from here. Hey, don't judge a book by its cover. You're starting early. Does it need a little bit of work? Sure, but it's got plenty of shelves. It's got that sweet asbestos tang in the air. It's got warmth to it. Just picture it. Classics in the corner there. Faulkner, Lee, Hugo, <laughs> all the Brontes. And of course, Miss Jane Austen. Horror on the end caps. They've always got the best cover art. Be careful, it's a first edition. seeing it now. Even if we go with this property, and I'm not saying we are, we're not compromising this much space for stock. No matter how dumb it may seem to you, I think we're doing something important here. Making a difference, taking a stand that the written word still means something. I get it. But the reality is, to most people, they're like Brussels sprouts. So we gotta let them order Brussels sprouts and have them feel real good about that, but then serve them mocha chip frappuccinos so they keep coming back. When falsehood can look so like the truth. <laughs> so what, we're quoting Shelley now? You think one quote's gonna win me over? What was that? I don't know. <gasps> oh. What are you doing? You don't know where that cat's been. Oh, you're just a scared little baby, aren't you? Why are you holding it? <laughs> when falsehood can speak so like the truth, who can assure themselves of certain happiness? 